to corn and Pantera and stuff when I was 13, 14, 15 and, and, and been able to relate to that anger and that, um, that dis discontentment with the world and, and it was just like, it was so awesome to know that someone else felt the same way and it, it, it seems bizarre now but you, you totally do think that you are the only one when you're in that place and and if, if I can go out and if I can make someone feel like they're not by themselves, that's, I mean, that, that's, that's all, all I can really ask for. And then if I can, through that, introduce them to the love, love of God, man, I mean, that's fulfillment right there. That's my purpose. You know, that's all of our purpose, really, at the end of the day, what it boils down to, introducing someone to God, helping them come into relationship with God. And, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of it. What was your What was your question? That's really cool. so, whatever you guys were saying was awesome. I was just like, yeah, yeah. What um, are we talking through about? Through your albums, what are you hoping to see God do through you? Oh, okay. So for my for our band, I I honestly think I'd really love to see uh, I, on some level, and I maybe it'll happen in the future, and and there I'll know where when it happened. But I I was really under the impression that we were gonna help create a sound that would impact the way people worship for like the next generation. Like I really wanted to create some kind of sound that, that did something to like what people think like Christian praise or Christian worship is. Like I feel like there's something in our, in our sound that's so important and it's never been heard, you know? And so I've, I've always wanted to see what would happen if we were like, okay, let's be as smart as we can about this. What if we changed how people thought worship was supposed to be? And so that's been kind of like the biggest goal I have in my heart is like, I want to I want to somehow put out something that changes what people think worship is. So that's kind of what I'd like to see. I mean, and in the meantime, it's like, I want Jesus to get a billion souls. I want a billion people to fall in love with him because we existed on the planet. I think that'd be awesome. Or more, either way, you know. But just a lot of people. I want a lot of people to be like, I saw Jesus because of those dudes. That would be sweet. So, yeah, that's it. Um, when touring with bands that aren't Christian, um, do you find it kind of harder to speak, or do you find it quite easy? Uh, or like pre more preach, I guess. <laughs> to preach, um, I think we've we've learned to be more discerning about when things should be spoken about, when they shouldn't be spoken about, and that generally has nothing to do with the bands that we're playing with, but the atmosphere of the place or the anticipated crowd, like sometimes it's more effective to to say little and and do a lot, and sometimes it's more effective to to say a lot and play and because you know you you play a festival like this, you've got a huge platform to speak to like thousands of people that you're probably not going to bump into afterwards. But you're playing in a club with a bunch of hostile metalheads that are coming to hear some metal. Sometimes it's better just to say, hey, we really appreciate you guys being here with us. We'd love for you to check out our record, read the lyrics and find out what we're all about. If you have any questions, come hang out with us. We love you guys. That's We've, we've learned to be more graceful and more discerning because we, we, we have definitely made mistakes in the past. Um, but the bands we tour with, like we, we tour with a lot of secular bands and it never really affects the way we speak or what we do and don't say because at the end of the day we're pretty confident in the reason why we're here and what we're doing and I think it's just a it's a privilege for us to be able to get on so well with a lot of secular bands and, and have that common ground which is the music that we play because like I say we didn't come from a place of religion or 
or in, ingrained faith of any kind. So for us to be able to use our gifts for the Lord and still be able to play the kind of music that we've grown to love is the hugest blessing and privilege. What was the question again? Um, no, I not so much now. I think when we were younger, we were a little bit more um, prone to kind of being swayed by by what people were like. Um, I mean, if I look back honestly, I, I've I've done things and acted in certain ways on tour that I'm not proud of, and it bums me out. But I'm not going to dwell on it, you know. Uh, it's about moving forward and growing and, and remembering the things that you've done wrong or right and, and taking that and building on it. Um, but yeah, I mean, Vasily really said it, you know, you, you've got to be discerning about what God wants to do. Like you can't, <clears throat> you can't be a ministry that's, that, that specializes in a certain aspect of the Holy Spirit. You can't say we strictly are a healing ministry because the Holy Spirit might want to speak about something different in that particular moment. So you might be beating against the goads if you start, start talking about something like that because you just don't know what God wants to do. You've got to be open to Him speaking the way He wants to speak. You've got to be open to Him moving in the way that He wants to move. And uh, it's basically like you've got to get out of the way. So I wouldn't say that, that having non-Christian bands around us affects it because, I mean, our our bass player, our guitarist, and our drummer aren't Christians. So if we're going to be affected by other bands that don't have Christians in it, we're going to be heavily affected by the non-Christians in our band. So what's the point, you know? Like, you've just got to... It's, it's you and God. And you're saying, what am I doing? You know? So, yeah. Other people, no. Not so much. <laughs> I, um, I have to say that some of the, our favorite people, some of our most favorite people on the road have been dudes that aren't Christians at all. Some of our favorite people to tour with. Most of our favorite tours of all time have been with dudes, like, literally, like, satanic bands that, like, care nothing about our message. But, like, we love them, and they, they like, we love them to the degree that we can, and they love us to the degree that, that they can as well. And it's been, like, awesome. So, in a lot of ways, like, we, if, you, if, you have to, if you have to fake who you are, for the sake of your performance, then I get why it might be harder to talk in front of a certain group of people. But like, I think we've been pretty consistent to just be like, this is just what we're about. And if we lie, if, if I was different off stage than I was on stage, then that might be a problem. But in a lot of ways, I feel like we've really just tried to be like, we are every bit as weird or nerdy or inconsistent or cool or on fire as normal what you see is what you get so no it hasn't been a problem playing with like christian kids or non-christian kids like because we've just been the same and it's been our culture like we've been playing shows with all these bands and been seeing all these bands for like 15 years like so it's it's not weird it's almost like it'd be like playing baseball like what if you had a church team that just was a part of a regular baseball league or something it's like you just play together all the time it doesn't even matter like in a lot of ways you know so if you had to all of a sudden put something on because now you're the Christian band, it's like, you're being fake. Like, don't do that. Like, don't, just don't say anything. Please don't. Because then you won't be able to live up to it later, you know? So, no, man, it's, it's easy peasy. It's good. Super good. Cool. Um, so being a Christian band in the heavy music scene, do you find that you have a lot of opposition towards you because of your faith? Um, I think I'm happy to say that these days the support definitely outweighs the opposition. When we're first starting out, I think, I don't know, I feel like we're probably one of the first kind of spiritful hardcore bands in New Zealand to be doing what we're doing and to be in the scene kind of with this message and being quite outspoken. So definitely there, ha there has been and there still is opposition towards what we're doing. A lot of people have a problem, um, a, yeah, so to speak, of us using hardcore to speak about Jesus because a lot of people have this idea that about what hardcore is and what it isn't and where it came from and exactly what can be and can't be spoken about. But for us, like, what hardcore did for me in my life was open me up to acceptance and freedom and, and basically to a family and a culture of people where everyone's accepted no matter what message they bring as long as you know why you're here and you're genuine about what you have to say and you truly believe it and you want to make a change in the world. To me, that's hardcore and that's what it's about. So, I mean, those that sit online and talk crap 
internet warriors and people on Lamb Goat writing us off or whatever it is, doesn't get to me anymore. I suppose it did when, like in the first year or two when we were starting out, but totally not. Like, I mean, playing festivals like this and getting to tour the world and seeing people singing along to songs that you wrote in your bedroom totally just washes all that other crap away. So, nah, it doesn't get to me. Uh, I'm fine with it. I mean, we've had a couple of experiences where kids have been like proper in our faces. Um, but uh, to tell you the truth, I reveled in it. You know, the times that we've had it, uh, I felt so blessed to be so vehemently hated for what we're doing. It's just beautiful. So, man, if you want to hate me for loving God and talking about him, then all good. Let's do it. <laughs> That's it. Um, the qu sorry, the question was... Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, I think it's it's kind of a weird one because I think um, hecklers in the crowd are are different than I think what happens in my own head sometimes. Like, like the pressure of like, am I doing this right? Really, like for God and um, I don't get a lot of people like really trying to like freak out on me or anything, which is cool. It's, I appreciate it, you know. But like. In a lot of ways, I think most of the most of the opposition I feel is is in the subtle. It's like in a it's like the subtle disappointment that other people have that we're Christians. Like it's just like kind of weird, unspoken. Like can't really talk about what you're really about. Not being able to share that with people that's the hardest thing for me.